So a, um, a tier list of all the dogs in the game. Very important tier list. Uh, up there with my incantation tier list as well, as to terms of how important it must be. I'm um, starting off with the, uh, the dog with the horns. I'm um, very cool, pretty looking dog. Um, probably needs a, a trim because the coat does look pretty heavy in that regard. So I'll probably give it a, um, a B tier. Um, the Beastman dog. Uh, this one can be a bit, bit crazy. Probably has like rabies or some shit like that. No idea. Um, but he does wield a weapon, which is actually kind of cool. Um, probably needs more animations where he actually like, you know, walks on all four legs. But um, pretty decent. Not bad. Probably give it an A tier. Um, the Cursed Doggies. S tier. Like how goofy their eyes look. I mean, their fake eyes. Because the real eyes, everyone knows exactly where they are. Um, pretty cool. Cool jumping animations as well. I think it actually like, they looked better in actually the previous Souls games. I actually, probably give it an A tier because they, they probably looked better in the previous Souls games. They kind of fell off. These dogs have been through some stuff. Um, the uh, big hairy doggies. Um, they're pretty cool when they T pose on you. A tier. Um, Beast Clergyman dog. Um, crackhead energy. He's actually not that fat. The drapes are actually making him uh, a lot fatter than we actually Actually, he's more like a mole rat underneath. So I'll probably give it a, a C tier. Don't really care. Um, Blyde, this one, um, this dog is more of like a furry, not really an actual dog. Um, D tier. Don't care for furries. Furry baiting is cringe. Um, the Bloodhound dog. Probably a B tier. Probably a B tier. Can be pretty annoying to actually fight. Keeps like running all over the fucking place and jumping all over the place as well. Which is very reminiscent of an actual dog, so probably an A tier instead. Um, the Watchdog. It's more like a fucking cat. Um, why is it called a dog? I have no idea. C tier. Um, the Chariot Dog. My favorite dog. S tier. Really, really cool. Um, I love just getting hit by them and having to take like a thousand fucking damage and how fast they move like at Mach 10 speed all over the place. Really great. Um, the Demi Human Dog. Um, they can cast sorceries. Really nice. Long slender arms as well. Pretty unique for a dog. B tier. This is a really nice looking dog. This is a really nice one. Really sleek looking hair. Cool arms. Long snout. 10 out of 10. S tier dog. The regular fluff dog. These things have like a lot of HP, but they don't really do anything special or unique. Just very average and generic. Um... But you know, out here living its best life. I'll give it a high A tier. Um, the Lizard Dog. Um, this one is specifically in the li Lake of Rod. It's actually kind of annoying. Um, pretty long arms as well. It's probably just trying to play, honestly. It's probably just been sitting there for a long time. Needs some rescuing. You know what? 8 out of 10. We'll actually definitely give Pats. A tier. Um, the Falling Star Dog. i probably give this one a C tier because I do not like it at all. Way too rough. Um, thinks it's like a small little dog was actually how it plays, but like starts jumping around all over the fucking place. Don't really care for it. Uh, C tier for that dog. The imp dogs. Look, they can look kind of cute, but they're kind of like chihuahuas and this this little like crackhead little aggro motherfuckers. Um, so yeah, probably give it a B tier for that one. Um, the dragon dogs. So these are the dogs with the very large wings. Um, they're pretty cute. Actually, we'll give them uh, plenty of pats. And they can breathe fire, which is actually pretty cool. Probably give it a high B tier. Um, the flying dogs. Okay, so these ones have some very large ears. Pretty cute. Uh, they do be yelling a bunch as well, so they're probably not inside dogs. Probably more for outside. Um, they do eat human meat though as well, which is actually kind of cringe. So probably C tier. Okay, the crackhead dog. The um, Garank. Garank the dog. Look, honestly, we're the reason as to why he has a, a crack addiction. So we're kind of enabling his behavior. Um, and then after you give him enough crack, he starts going crazy and starts attacking you, which I guess is kind of, you know, fair in that regard. So I'll give him an S tier. Nice. Um, the misbegotten dog. Really, really cool. Really nice moveset as well. Pretty good boss fight. 10 out of 10. S tier. Um, the wolf dog. I hate how much these things moves around. Who the fuck t taught this thing magic? Bad dog. Should not teach ever teach a dog magic. Never gonna do that. Horrible idea. B tier. Um, the big dog. This thing's way too fucking aggressive. Way too big. Um, 
I like inside dogs better. Outside dogs are cringe. B tier. Um, this is like the same thing, but just like this one has more hair on its head. The Lion Dog. But I do like the Lion King. Definitely the best Disney movie. S tier. Um, the Jaw Dogs. Really cool death animation. That's like the only redeeming factor of these things. Um, very nice and round. Probably um very nice to pat as well. Docile, pretty chill dogs. They're kind of like the Dalmatians, I guess. A tier. The Wolfie Dog. Pretty generic, basic. They serve their purpose. They don't really be like you know flailing around all over the place on like some other dogs in this list. Probably give it an A tier. The dogs are better at magic than goddamn sorcerers. That is true. That is true. Um, Malekith the dog. Um, this one's a pretty acrobatic dog. Pretty same as the lion dog, but probably even more so because it can like jump off the pillars and stuff like that. It's actually kind of cool. Um, good boss fight as well. S tier. Um, the mant serpent dog. I like how they can be extending and stuff like that. It definitely makes me feel like, you know, I want to give them some scratches and some... Feed them some food and stuff like that as well. Really nice. C tier. Um, the merchant dogs. The donkey looking ones. Hmm. Honestly, really nice death animations, not gonna lie. Killing them is very satisfying. A tier. Um, the dog pope. So the one that wears a hat. Also, honestly, like a lot of people like, you know, go way too hard on this thing. It's like, ugh, it's a dog that wears a hat, so it should be an S tier. But like, no, it's stupid looking. Doesn't even look that, that much like a dog as well. It's pretty dumb. But it is a dog wearing a hat, so probably an S tier. Um, speaking of dog wearing hats, we have Bok. Um, way too ugly, D tier. Um, this is a pretty looking dog though. I like this one. Really nice, goofy looking head. Hmm. B tier. Um, Torrent, our dog that we ride. Um, honestly, he's way too fucking jank. Um, the jumping mechanics are pretty stupid as well. Hmm. Hopefully we get a new dog in the DLC, because our dog's pretty mid, not gonna lie. C tier. Um, the dog that the Knight Rider wields, or, well, wields, um, rides. Um, pretty cool, mysterious. F you know, freaky looking, but you know what, they actually serve their purpose, they don't really, like, make much noise, they don't flail around all over the place, they just ride like a regular dog does. Um, give it an A tier. Um, this weird, like, squirrel looking dog. Does have really cool like hopping animations. It's actually surprising as to how many like cool like animations actually gave all of the like these like little animals that serve like almost no purpose in this game. Um, probably a B tier. This is um okay. I was mainly supposed to be Elden Beast, the fish dog. Um, it's actually pretty good at swimming. I mean that's all it does. It's like that one dog that just really likes the water for some reason and just keeps fucking wanting to jump into the water and keep swimming. That's what this dog is. So I guess trying to chase the dog and trying to get it out of the fucking water sometimes can be a pain in the dick. So it's not like the best pet, but it's like it's one of those like dogs that you're trying to like, you know, visit at somebody's house, see it for the first time. It's like, well, that's really cool, but you never actually want to try and, you know, raise it as a pet. So I'd probably give it a B tier. Um, these are rat dogs. Okay, this dog. Way too much poise damage. Honestly, all they do is just jump at you and like they just stagger you for fucking days. Um, I guess it just wants to play a whole bunch. Wouldn't really pet it. It's got a bunch of scabs on it. Um... Yeah, it's definitely, a, it's definitely an outside dog. Play, plays like in the dumpsters and stuff like that. I'm um, probably a C tier. Wait a minute. This is another magic dog. Why is there two magic dogs on this list? D tier. The fucking stray dogs. Oh my god. <sighs> what is there to say about these fucking things? <laughs> Royal Rat Authority looking ass. Honestly. This thing is so fucking bad. Um... Very aggressive, very hyper. I hate hyper and aggressive dogs because I just want to play all the fucking time. I just want a chill dog that sits there in the corner and shut the fuck up. This thing's way too loud, way too aggressive, keeps running at you. You see its ribs as well, that's pretty bad. Maybe it's just like hungry. Maybe it's been like treated poorly its entire life. Kind of feel bad for it. Ah, fuck it, D tier. Who cares? Um, this cool, majestic looking, fluffy dog. Um, it does get cool rolling animations. A dog that can roll. S tier. This thing, this dog gets a fucking skull as a shell. That's pretty fucking cool. And it can also roll as well. S tier. Anything that gets a rolling animation. Um, this anal bead looking dog. 
actually gets eyes as well. And it kind of has like blinking animations. It has like a thousand different types of attacks. I don't know why they even bothered like making animations for this thing. Which actually spent more time actually, you know, balancing the game instead of actually making animations for this anal bead dog. But still really cool. Would actually give it pets 10 out of 10. B tier. Um, the Tree Sentinel dog, so the one that the Tree Sentinel rides, it's actually tied to the Tree Sentinel boss itself. So they're actually like chained together. Um, you know. The captain goes down with the ship type of vibe. But, you know, it's pretty bad on the, the dog that he's riding itself. Feel bad for it. Probably an A tier. And now the smaller version of the dog with the hat. Um, another shelled dog. Honestly, just a vibe. I like it when you try to hit it and try to kill it. It just, like, you know, goes back into a chill. Um, much like what dogs do in real life. So, uh, very realistic. B tier. Anyway, that's the important tier list done. Very much like my, um, weapon tier list. Very important stuff. There shall be no other dog tier list after this.